Welcome back to my channel, Monotology. Um, today's topic is about her racism. So, um, I think that was three days ago when I went to Starbucks coffee near our apartment. It's probably like one block and a half from our apartment. And uh, so, I went there for, not for coffee, but uh, for actually my favorite uh scone uh, bread you know the blueberry scone bread actually i don't like uh the starbucks coffee because here in the city you know in new york there is a lot of uh, like different types of coffee brand and uh like coffee shop i mean and um i'd rather go to like a uh, small local local owners coffee shop rather than going to like big starbucks uh, brand you know so i went there and um, actually the store is not so busy so i thought i i went to the line and there's only like uh, probably three of us during those times so there's only one ahead of me and then uh, i was waiting the the guy to approach me and then all of a sudden he pointed on the on my back and he said, "Oh, okay. Are you uh, are you ordering? You know that means he passed. He passed me and uh, I look I look up behind me and I saw like a white guy wearing like a uh, a suit. I know uh, like a young guy, white guy, young white guy. So I was like, so okay. I ignored it because anyway, there's not much of uh, people. So." I was like, okay, that would be easy, only one. And then I, I'm still standing up there and then and then all of a sudden my husband came from the door. I saw him, you know, like um, going towards me and I look at him and then he stood up beside me and this guy, this cashier, say, approached him and right away he asked Steve, Sir, what is your order? <laughs> Can you imagine how annoying is that? So I don't know that uh, maybe some people will say, oh, maybe just ignore it and, you know, just let it go. But, you know, it's, I don't think that we should uh, not say anything when we experience this kind of things because uh, otherwise that this will keep on coming, coming back and it will keep happening around I mean here in the US because uh, you know these people think that it is normal to practice racism and discrimination in their everyday lives so this cashier is a young guy and he's not even white I think he is as Hispanic but uh, I can I can feel that he really doesn't like me and um, so of course I have to say something so guys, I said something like, oh, I think I need to blunt my hair and have a, uh, probably a nose job. But I was looking at him and he was staring at me like that. I said, do I need to do that? You know, I was standing here and you're ignoring me while you're serving all this white guy here behind me. And he's still staring at me. And then I told him, do you know this guy? I pointed at my uh, husband. He is my husband. And he's not buying anything. I was the one who was buying. So there you go, my taray. My taray, my katarayan, you know, it showed up. And uh, I don't know, sometimes I don't want to say bad things. I don't want to have any, um, like, um, like an opposing reaction to other people. Like, uh, I don't want to be mataray. But sometimes I think we have to say something because uh, that will gonna be uh, like an, uh, a norm. They will practice that in the normal way to other people. Can you imagine if they're doing that to other Asian people or Filipino people? I'm posting it in Facebook. I've been experiencing this uh, like multiple times and other people say, oh Mona, you should just ignore it. Uh, don't, don't find it. You know, otherwise you're just making the trouble. You know, you're trouble, you're tra trouble making. I was like, excuse me, how can that be a trouble making while 
you know, these people are treating you like, I'm sorry to say S-I-S-H-I-T, you know what I mean? They're treating you like a crap, that you are not existing, and uh, they're looking you down. So, probably, I think, you know, when you reacted something like that to, to these people who are so discriminating, I think you're giving the, them a lesson like, hey, we are Filipino, but you cannot step on us like that. You cannot just ignore us like shit, you know what I mean? So, um, so that that happens to me. So that would hap that happened to me like three th three days ago, and I'm really so upset. And um, I hope that you know these people will learn their lesson. Anyway, um, my husband told me like, oh, you should not uh, react that because you know you're gonna you're gonna attract a lot of attention. I said no, I didn't attract a lot of attention. So you know, my husband is a uh, quite. Uh, like quiet person and uh, she he doesn't like in trouble like that so anyway i hope you guys uh, like my video for today and please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for another video <laughs> thank you so much and have a nice day